All right, so as promised, we're going to be talking about the similarities between adding and subtracting negative numbers. This is just uh, what I had in the last two videos, the four permutations for each operation for addition and subtraction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the commonalities between the two. Okay, so let's just walk through the list. A, 1 plus 2 equals 3. There's no commonality, no, no equivocal operation. Let's see if B is equivocal. Negative 2 plus, negative 1 plus 2 equals 1. Is there anything equivocal on the frac on the uh, subtraction side? Is there any operation on the subtraction side that'll give us the same that's that's written differently but gives us the same outcome? There is. There's D. Okay. So D. Let me just get another color here. D. And B are equivocal. So we have negative 1 plus 2 is equal to a negative 1 minus negative 2, which equals 1. So both A and B, uppercase B, lowercase d, are equivocal problems. We can also do it like this, so we can see. Just bracket it in such a way like this. Okay. So those two are the same. Let's see if we have another another one that's the same. <clears throat> Let's look at C. C two plus negative two or one plus negative two equals negative one. Is there something that gives us negative one on the subtraction side? There is. That's lowercase a. So let's say uppercase C, lowercase a, these two, let me just grab another color again. These two are equivocal. So one plus negative two actually equals one minus two, which gives us negative one. Okay, and this is why, again, it's not so intimidating because you'll find that some of these things, they mean the same thing, they're just written differently. And that's what we mean by equivalence. They're, they're, they're equivalent to each other. Um, and there's not really that much difference other than how they're written, but we do the same kind of operation. Let's keep going. Let's see if we find another one for the last one, which is D. Okay, so uppercase D, Negative 1 plus negative 2, it gives us negative 3. Is there an operation on the subtraction side that gives us the same thing? There is. That would be C, lowercase c. Let me get another color here. So C, on the subtraction side, that gives me negative three as well. So uppercase D, lowercase c, gives us negative one plus negative two equals, in actuality it actually equals, it's equivocal to the, to the subtract, subtraction statement of negative one minus two, which equals negative three. Both of them are equivocal, both of them equal the same number when you do the math. So there really isn't that much difference, okay? So again, as you start to familiarize yourself with this stuff, you'll start to pick up on these trends. But again, as you're learning, this, this is what you wanna learn. And this is, this is primarily where, where things are gonna to come together for you when you find out that this statement and this statement is the same, okay? That statement and that statement are the same. This statement and that statement are all the same. So there's variation, but there's actually a lot of a lot of intersection. And some of these statements are actually equivocal to one another. They're just written differently. And this is how you prepare yourself for every scenario. Once again, this is at the symposium. Thank you for watching.